Director Ty West and actress Mia Goth are back to finish out their trilogy. We had X, we had the prequel Pearl, and now we have the sequel to X, Maxine. And there has been absolutely no consensus about which one is the best out of the three, and that's awesome, because these movies are all completely different styles, taking place in different eras, and paying homage to the films that came out during those time periods. I'm gonna give you a review of Maxine in spoiler-free fashion. Let's begin. Before I jump in, if you could do me a quick favor and X out that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. I post movie content every single week on the channel. Would love to have you stick around. Taking place several years after the events of the 1979 film X, we're now in the 80s with Mia Goth's character Maxine Minx. She's an actress. Or at least she wants to be. She's doing the adult acting right now, but she's hoping to make her name in Hollywood. Become that star that she knows she was born to be. Now, that's going to be a challenge for several reasons. Number one, it's already hard enough to make it into the industry with everybody else trying to get there as well. Two, she's currently working as an adult film actress, and she's pretty prominent in the industry. In fact, several people recognize her along the way, and they give her a nice tip of the hat and a wink. It's good stuff. And three, there's a psychotic killer going around slaughtering people in Hollywood. So she has to keep her wits about her because this killer seems to be targeting people closest to her. What's the connection? What's the reason behind all this? Well, that's the mystery that's going to catapult this film forward and hopefully keep you invested. This movie has been advertising itself as an old school slasher. It has obvious callbacks to movies like Psycho. We see the location on the film set, amongst several others. Is this really a slasher though? Eh, sorta kind of in an unconventional sense. But that's what this whole franchise has really been about. Taking conventional horror slashers, mixing them up a little bit. With X being the most traditional of the bunch and my personal favorite of the franchise, Pearl did nothing for me, but I appreciated what it was going for. I know several people that like that one the best of the trilogy. And then there's Maxine. I went to this with a buddy. It was his favorite of the trilogy. So again, all over the board as far as what people like and what they don't. But one thing is certain. Ty West has crafted a very unique trilogy here that I think manages to impress people even if they don't necessarily like the movie that was made. As I was with Pearl. Didn't really care for the film, but I really respected the craft and what he was trying to do with that movie. Since Maxine takes place in the 80s, there is a very big vibe to that era. We have fantastic cinematography. The lighting is very unique, very retro, has a Terminator 1 vibe to it. The clothing design spot on, the way Ty West plays with aspect ratios throughout the film. Sometimes there's a camcorder view, so we get that four by three aspect ratio. It opens up into a wide angle lens. Lots of creativity on display here. If you're looking for something scary, that's not this. There's really no scares to be found at all. There are, I think, some intense moments, but it's really not even about that so much. This is a murder mystery first and foremost. It also very much has a psychological angle to it because Maxine is still trying to get over the events that took place in X. The nice thing about X and Pearl is they kind of felt standalone, but with Maxine, I think you really do need to watch X in order to appreciate where this film is gonna go. There are a lot of callbacks, there's lots of references, it just plays into it far more than Pearl did. Pearl feels like the odd woman out in this trilogy. This really does feel like a follow-up film to a movie that you should have seen prior. As with Pearl, Mia Goth really is the focus of this one, and her acting carries this thing throughout. She is freaking fantastic in this movie, much like she has been in the past. But here, even more than ever, I was incredibly impressed with the performance she was putting out. As far as the violence and the kills go, there is definitely one look away moment that I won't spoil, of course. But yeah, I was cringing a bit when it took place. Pretty brutal stuff. Reminded me of the curb stomping scene in American History X. That still gives me chills thinking about it. I would say for 85, 90% of this movie, I was thinking to myself, wow, this might be my favorite of the bunch. But then that final act hits and it's polarizing and it's different and I don't think it worked. Personal opinion, the next person over is gonna be like, I love this ending, I love where they went with it. I don't think it's necessarily interpretive, it's just not where I wanted things to end up. And it almost felt disingenuous, like logically speaking, this makes no sense at all. But 
it is what it is. Overall, Maxine was a fun watch. I could definitely watch it again. I, I plan to actually when it comes out to home video. And this X trilogy overall has been a real joy to watch play out. I love this creativity. I love that Ty West was like secretly making this trilogy and it all came out within the span of two years. Very impressive stuff. I want to see more of this out of Hollywood. Hopefully we get it because I think these movies all did pretty damn well. All right, I want to hear from you. Did you see Maxine? Did you even know it was out? I want to hear from you in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe once more. I do movie reviews every single week. I do rants, roasts, live streams. It's all movies all the time. And if you really like the commentary, I have a second channel. It's a lot newer. Adam does rants. I'm trying to build that one up. It's just me bitching about first world problems in hopefully a comedic way, just to put a smile on your face in case you're down. Well, there you have it. Hopefully I see you next time. Take care.